no matter where you come from. There's something about the kitchen that brings people together. You know, whenever you go to someone's home, people always kind of like gather in the kitchen area or by the kitchen. So there is something really wonderful about that. And she gets to bring in her people, you know, her girls, and, and spend a lot of time with them. And their, their bond has become closer, I feel, this second season. I think we all have a little bit more trouble on our hands with the arrival of V, who has shaken up the prison like it's like we've never seen it before. Um, there is this element of danger that I think did not exist um, before she came around. I mean, there was always you know tensions here and there, but danger is something that I have never that I haven't experienced. That Gloria, I don't think, really experienced up until V's arrival. And she does shake things up, and I'm enjoying it. Lorraine Toussaint is absolutely brilliant in what she's bringing, and um, it's been lots of fun. Those scenes, not only with, uh, with V, but with Red, you get to see how Gloria has had to protect her turf. You mean that? It has become quite the phenomenon. I have to tell you that this is, this is my mother. This is all, you know, I found Gloria through her eyebrow, and it was based on my beautiful mother, who, when I was younger, we all knew we were in trouble if you walked in the house and she turned around and did this. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so upset today. And so it just came naturally, you know, when I did Gloria. Like, suddenly, one day, I just did this, and they were like, okay, we're gonna do that again. Do the eyebrow. And everywhere I go, people are like, oh my God, do the eyebrow. Well, you know, season one, you got to see just little piece, bits and pieces of her, and there were always like these great one-liners, you know, funny, funny, and you know, you just kind of thought she was just like really funny, very fluff, but it wasn't until that last episode that you go, oh, wait a minute, there's more there. And season two really gets into it. And you find out why she's who she is and where her struggles have come from, her beliefs. You know, we get into some religion, religious beliefs there, which we touched on a little bit in season one. Um, so it's just really full, full of a lot of information of who this woman is and why she is where she is and who, you know, why she is who she is. So it's, it's a really, I think that people are going to enjoy seeing the layers this year is all about the different layers that all the characters have. But with Gloria, I think that people are going to be really surprised. Whenever we have group scenes, big group scenes, it's always so much fun. I'm sure the director and the crew are not that happy because it gets crazy to have a bunch of women, you know, laughing and carrying on because we really do like each other maybe and that might be a problem sometimes. But um, those group scenes are great because this season we got to do a lot of individual work or group works, individual groups. So when we got together for that Valentine's, it was great because we all got to be in the same room again and we hadn't done that since first season. So it was really, really, it was a party. It was a real party. When we have these flashbacks and we get to see these women outside of prison, different looks, different clothing, you know, it's interesting. I love getting scripts and reading the backstories. I go nuts every time I read a backstory. And just when you thought you kind of knew this person, it's completely opposite. I have one, one actress on the show that we were talking about and her backstory came up and she's like, I had no idea. Like not a clue that I was in jail for this. You, you know what I mean? It was, and it was a revelation to her. Um, and I think for me also, there were moments of uh, Gloria that I had. I, I'm glad they used in the backstory because it was little things that I was adding on my own. But when I saw it fully, and they fully developed it in the backstory, I thought, wow, this is brilliant. I think that the fact that, you know, we don't wear makeup on the show, or they add scars, they add pimples, they, they go, oh, that's great, you have a pimple today, we're gonna highlight that, you know, they, I think people are embracing that these women are not perfect. You can relate to people who are not perfect, you know? So I think that it's, the audience is basically saying it's about time, and I think that's why it's been so successful.